surface water or storm drains discharge directly to ditches, streams, rivers or soakaways. If chemicals or oils enter these drains, they can cause serious environmental damage and threaten rivers and drinking water supplies. This can result in heavy fines, clean-up costs, bad publicity and possible loss of business for the company responsible. Even seemingly harmless substances, such as beer and milk, can strip a river of oxygen, killing wildlife and destroying fish stocks. Foul water drains carry contaminated water, such as human waste and trade effluent, to a sewage works. If unusually high levels of chemicals or oils find their way to the treatment plant, they can be toxic to the bacteria on which the process depends. Different processes present different risks, so exactly what's in the spill kit will depend on your site activities. But most will have drain covers, socks and booms for containing a spill, other absorbents for mopping up, putty to block leaks, personal protective equipment, and temporary containers such as this overdrum. There may also be floating booms for containment on water. Absorbents come in different types and are colour coded, usually blue for oil and white or yellow for chemical spills. In the following simulation, we're going to assume that the spill is a relatively small amount of diesel. Fast, immediate response is vital. Make sure everyone in the area is aware of the incident. Spill. But don't rush into unknown situations. The first step is to identify the spilled material. If you're not sure what the material is, don't take any risks. Is it a small spill or a heavy flow? Can you and your workmates tackle it or do you need the emergency services? If you're not wearing it already, don't forget your PPE. Safety boots, gloves, non-absorbent overalls, which must be suitable for the liquid spilled, and goggles if there is a risk of splashing. But the basic steps are the same. Be aware, make sure you know the risks and where you can find the spill kit on your site. If the worst happens, raise the alarm. At the very least, you may need assistance. Identify the spilled material. What are the risks? Can you handle it or do you need the emergency services? Protect yourself. Make sure you have the correct PPE that's adequate for the job. Help the injured, but only if it's safe to do so. Stop the source. Do you need to turn off valves, taps or patch a hole? Contain the spill. Get booms in place and drains covered as soon as possible. Notify, do you know who to contact and where the phones are on your site? Clean up, work from the outside towards the centre of the spill. Waste disposal, don't forget the waste will probably be classed as hazardous. Restock, make sure you've got the kit to do the job because at any time someone could shout, Spill! 